A good place to get started to reduce your personal emissions is in your home. Even if you rent, there are still things you can do to reduce your energy use and emissions. Because in your home, your heating and air conditioning systems typically use about 50% of the energy in your home. Most people think that it's their lights or their fridges or their stoves, but it's really that uh, heating and air conditioning system that is going to be the bulk of your energy usage and where those emissions associated with energy usage will come from. But you don't have to make expensive upgrades right away. First, look at places where air might leak from your home, like windows and doors, especially ones that lead to uninsulated areas like attics and garages. So air sealing tends to have um, the greatest impact, not only in energy savings, but really making homes more comfortable. Reducing energy use also saves you money, and these initial steps have a fairly low upfront cost. Sometimes it's a matter of habits. Like if you want to keep your home cool in the summer and you're comfortable sleeping with open windows, open them up overnight and close them first thing in the morning. Make sure you close all the blinds. If you have blackout curtains, shut those things during the hottest time of the day. So between the hours of 11 to 3 p.m. would be the time to try to make your house um, dark as possible in the sun facing rooms. That will actually be really helpful. Upgrading to a programmable thermostat can make a big difference. You can set it so that you're not heating or cooling an empty home while you're at work or traveling. A basic version of these thermostats costs around $30. Fancier ones that connect to Wi-Fi might need an expert to install. Once you've tackled what you can on your own, consider bringing in an energy auditor who can look at your overall energy use. Because if you know where the inefficiencies are, you can then find a solution. You can then find either a pathway or begin understanding what solutions are available to you. Because the solutions are always going to be very localized and very individualized. Would these tips work for you? Let us know and follow along with us every week for more climate action tips.